What is going on everybody? Today I will be previewing the 2024 college football schedule for UNLV. I will go through every game on their schedule and I will predict which games on the schedule I think they will win and I will also predict which games on the schedule I think they will lose. But before we get into predicting their schedule, let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you will love this channel because we upload daily college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing and also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Last season, UNLV finished with a pretty impressive 9-5 record. They really had an impressive season and they made the Mountain West Championship. This was their first ever Mountain West Championship game in UNLV program history. And UNLV has been a consistently bad program over the last 20 plus years. And last season was their first winning record since 2013. And before 2013, their last winning record was actually 2000. So seeing UNLV winning 9 games and making the Mountain West Championship was pretty unreal to see. Barry Odom is doing great things for this UNLV program. And I know they lost Jada Maiava at the quarterback position. And Jada Maiava is going to be a very difficult player to replace. And he was a big part of the reason UNLV made the Mountain West Championship game last season. But I think they can't find a way to win games without him. And Barry Odom has been building up this defense through the transfer portal. So imagine if the defense takes a big step up. And if the offense can still play at a high level. This team could be a potential dark horse to make the 12 team playoffs. They do have a lot to figure out at the quarterback position. But there will still be a bunch of offensive talent on this team next season. They will be returning one of the best receivers out of the Mountain West, Ricky White. And they also brought in four-star running back Michael Allen from NC State. They have the number one transfer portal group in the Mountain West, and this team should still be very good. The quarterback position is still a question mark, but I expect Barry Odom to figure it out at the quarterback position. And this team should be ready to carry their momentum from last season into the 2024 college football season. This UNLV team is a good team, and nothing should change in 2024. But let's get into predicting their schedule. And they opened the season playing against Houston on the road. I'm not very high in Houston. They went 4-8 and eight last season. They also lost a decent amount of talent to the transfer portal, including one of their top defensive players, Jamari Caldwell. And they also lost one of their top receivers, Matthew Golden, and they lost their offensive lineman, Tyler Johnson. I don't expect Houston to be a very good team next season. They lost a bunch of their best players to the transfer portal, and they were already pretty bad last season. But this is still a tough game for UNLV. Since it will be at the start of the season playing against a Power 5 opponent, this should definitely be an interesting game, but I do have UNLV winning this game and moving to 1-0 on the season. The next game for UNLV will be at home against FCS Utah Tech. Utah Tech was a terrible FCS team last season and they only won two games. I really don't watch FCS football, but 99% of the time an FBS team plays an FCS team, the FBS team will obviously control that game and they usually win that game. And this is the cupcake game on the schedule for UNLV. And I definitely have UNLV winning this game and moving to 2-0 on the season. The next game for UNLV will be on the road against Kansas. Last season, UNLV played Kansas in the Guaranteed Rate Bowl. And they lost in a high score and shootout, 49-36. I don't know if UNLV will be a better team next season without Jana Maiava. But I'm pretty high on this Kansas team. Because they will be returning one of the best quarterbacks in the Big 12, Jalen Daniels. And Kansas could be better next season. Kansas has this game at home. And I think I could definitely trust Kansas more in this game. I think UNLV is a team that has a lot of potential to shock some people. Definitely with the transfer portal additions. But I think Kansas should win this game. So I have UNLV losing to Kansas on the road. And I have them moving to 2-1 and one on the season. The next game for UNLV will be at home against Syracuse. This game was really a toss-up game to me. I think there's still a bunch of concerns for the Syracuse team after losing 45 to nothing in their bowl game. But on the bright side, Syracuse ranks top 10 in returning production. And they also did win 6 games last season. They brought in some solid additions from the transfer portal, most notably Kyle McCord at the quarterback position. Kyle McCord is not a great quarterback, but he is solid. And I think he could potentially get the job done for Syracuse, and he could possibly be an even better player at Syracuse than he was at Ohio State. This is really a 50-50 toss-up game, but the non-conference schedule for UNLV is pretty difficult, and I think they will either lose to Houston or Syracuse. So since I had them beating Houston, I have UNLV losing this game to Syracuse and moving to 2-2 two two on the season. But after the game against Syracuse, UNLV will start conference play, and none of the conference game dates have been announced yet, so the schedule is kind of all over the place. But I will go through the conference games, and the next game for UNLV is on the road against Hawaii. This should be a win for UNLV, but it could be a potential trap game. Hawaii isn't a great team, but Hawaii plays better at home. Hawaii still is a pretty big step behind a team like UNLV, and I don't expect Hawaii to be great. They rank 89th in returning production, so they won't really be returning a lot. They have a good quarterback, but this team lacks talent, so I have UNLV winning this game and moving to 3-2 on the season. 
The next game for UNLV will be on the road against San Jose State. San Jose State actually won their last six conference games after started the season very badly. They started 1-5 and five last season, and during the six-game winning streak they had near the end of the season, they actually beat UNLV 37-31. to But San Jose State will only return 32% of their offensive production next season, which ranks 127th in the country. San Jose State didn't finish the season well because they only scored 14 points in their bowl game and they lost to Coastal Carolina. I expect San Jose State to not be that good next season. And I definitely think UNLV will get their revenge and win this game. So I have UNLV winning this game and moving to 4-2 and on the season. The next game for UNLV will be at home against Boise State. I'm very high on this Boise State team heading into 2024. I think I am leaning towards Boise State to be the group of 5 team to make the 12-team playoffs. Boise State brought in former 5-star quarterback Malachi Nelson from USC. And Spencer Danielson is doing great work ever since taking over the Boise State head coaching job. The defense should be really good and Spencer Danielson was the previous defensive coordinator and I do expect him to keep the defense playing at a pretty high level and I think Boise State beats UNLV just like they did in the 2023 Mountain West Championship game. So I have UNLV losing this game and moving to 4-3 and on the season. The next game for UNLV is at home against Fresno State. Fresno State beat UNLV last season 31-24. Fresno State and UNLV are both going to be competing for a shot to make the Mountain West Championship and I still do expect both these teams to be pretty good. Fresno State has a more trustworthy quarterback with Mikey Keene, who should be returning. I'm still a bit concerned about the defense of Fresno State. They lost a lot of talent on defense, and they have not brought in too many players from the transfer portal to replace those guys. Fresno State ranks 106 in returning production on defense. I feel like both offenses are going to be very good, but I honestly think the defense for UNLV might help them in this game. UNLV did a very good job in the transfer portal, and they returned 63% of production on defense. I know UNLV probably had a more questionable defense than Fresno State this past season, and both these defenses have question marks heading into 2024, but I actually think UNLV will have a better defense in 2024. I expect the defense to be better for UNLV next season. This is a 50-50 game to me, but UNLV does have this game at home, so I have UNLV getting their revenge and beating Fresno State in a very close game. But this game could absolutely go either way. I do have UNLV moving to 5-3 on this season, though. The next game for UNLV will be at home against Nevada. Nevada went 2-10 and last season, and I expect Nevada to be one of the worst Mountain West teams. I think UNLV definitely wins this game. UNLV beat Nevada 45-27 to on the road last season. I think UNLV beats them again in 2024, and I do have UNLV move it to 6-3 and on the season. Nothing much to say about this game. The next game for UNLV is at home against San Diego State. This could be a tough game for UNLV. San Diego State usually is a good group of 5 team, but they fell apart last season and they had a terrible offense. They lose a bunch of talent and there's a bunch of question marks for the San Diego State team heading into 2024. San Diego State is a team I wouldn't count out to be a top contender for the Mountain West Championship just because of their past success. But if we are being realistic, there's just too many concerns for San Diego State. We might learn more as the offseason moves along, but I trust UNLV way more. So I have UNLV winning this game and moving to 7-3 on the season. The next game for UNLV is on the road against Utah State. And this is probably the biggest trap game on their schedule. They will most likely be favorites heading into this game, but I actually think Utah State will be alright next season. They return a decent amount of talent and their offense was pretty good last season. They actually made a bowl game last season and they also made a bowl game in 2022. They went 6-7 and seven back-to-back seasons. Utah State also went 11-3 and three in 2021, let's not forget that. I think they could potentially be a sleeper team of the Mountain West. They weren't bad the past two seasons, and if they could potentially put something together and take that next step, then they could be a top contender for the Mountain West. They brought in Bryson Barnes who started a bunch of games for Utah last season. He could be an underrated quarterback addition for this Utah State team. We'll see what happens, but I still do have UNLV winning this game and moving to 8-3 and three on the season. But Utah State is a team I'm keeping an eye on. But the defense was terrible last season, so there's a lot to clean up. The last game of the season for UNLV is on the road against Oregon State. I know Oregon State lost a big majority of the talent on their team and they lost a very good head coach. And it sucks to see a team like Oregon State take a hit like they did. Oregon State finally was playing good football after years of misery, and now they're most likely going back to being bad again, so it is pretty tough to see. But on the bright side, they do return Damian Martinez, who is probably a top 10 running back in the whole country, and they should be able to have a decent run game. We will see what happens. Oregon State isn't an easy place to play, but I do actually think UNLV finds a way to win this game, so I have UNLV finishing the season with a 9-3 record and a 6-1 conference record. But I would not be surprised if UNLV lost the game against Oregon State. But regardless, I think UNLV will still be a top contender for the Mountain West Championship. And like I said, the quarterback position is a big question mark, but they did bring in three quarterbacks out of the transfer portal, 
So there will be a big battle at quarterback, and I do think they will figure something out. I like the offense to be good again, and I do think the defense will be better. UNLV is definitely a very interesting team to me heading into 2024. But anyways, that's going to do it for the video. You guys let me know down in the comments below how many games you think UNLV will win in 2024. But before you click off the video, let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you will love this channel because we upload daily college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing and also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But that's going to do it guys and peace out.